Jonathan, ah. it's time for the Amazing Grand Canyon Adventure, day one. Mm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Jonathan, by the end of the day, you're going to see the grandest canyon in the world. I said it. That's why I said day one. It's day one of the rest of your life. Day one of the rest of my life. So you ready? Yeah. You ready to go hike this thing? Mm-hmm. How'd you sleep? I slept pretty good. There was an alarm that went off at five. That wasn't great. That was my alarm. That was your run. I was gonna go three to four miles, but the shoes I'm wearing don't feel very good to run in. So I'm just doing two. Just did a mile out, mile back. Now I'm heading back to the hotel to take a shower and who knows, maybe catch some more sleep. It was good. I just went two miles. You ran by yourself? Yeah. Oh. What time is it? 5.10. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not that that clock is wrong. It's 5.47. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Go back to bed. is 6 49 a.m. Jonathan is over here reading his Bible and it is time for me to do the same. I am currently in Revelation chapter, this lighting's weird. I'm currently in Revelation chapter four. Jonathan, where are you at? I am in Exodus 37. Exodus 37. Mm, tabernacle stuff. All right, well, I'm gonna be sitting right here and we're gonna keep this going. I thank you Father for sending your son giving your spirit that we may be one one with each other united in you dead to our old self alive to the new what you doing Jonathan? I am reading outdated Oh, I'm going what's it about? What? What's it about? Uh, this chapter is about uh, living together before marriage and why it doesn't work and why it's not good. Nice. What are we doing right now? We are on our way to the Grand Canyon. We're gonna be on this bus for five more hours. Something like that. We're taking a break though from like an hour and a half. Yeah. So that'd be cool. Get some, get some, get some grub. Get some supplies and then get on the road again. Should I do a montage? Yeah. I've seen the wonders of this world And pondered how it all unfurled And Lord my God we owe it all to you The days went by the fourth, the fifth in May Jonathan, where are we at right now? Uh, I actually don't know, but we're in Arizona. Didn't you say you might have been here before? Yeah, I think that it, we might have stopped here when I went took my trip to California, because we went to Vegas first, so went a little out of the way, but it looks real familiar. Got a nice dry heat going on. Mm -hmm. We're not used to that being Texas folk. Yeah, I know. It's pretty hot, but yeah. also, I still, I'm enjoying it quite yeah. a bit. We were sitting in Texas, we'd be sweating pretty yeah. bad right now. But. Yeah. We have like less than an hour till Flagstaff, I think. It's really uh, sunny too. Yeah. Should brought my glasses with me. You get over it. Probably. Or just go blind, one or the other. <laughs> Give us an update. All right. So we got we got some, some fruits. Yep. We went, to, we went to the grocery store. Yeah. To pick up some stuff. Last minute things for the trip. We just stop. Got some pho. Got some pho. Dave, Dave Second time I've ever tried pho. I got pho with shrimp. You liked it, huh? But it was good. Yeah. We got some Thai tea. Yeah. Always good. Yeah, Thai tea was good. Um, we got some pizza for the, yes. for the way home. Pizza for the road. 
Yeah, they're pretty set. We were gonna go by Walmart and get like hoodies and uh, books, just, just so I didn't have to just do homework the whole time. But we didn't do that. So yeah, we got like a four-hour drive. Yep. All right. We're doing good. Get some pizza for yourself. Initiating whatever montage this is. In three, two, one. And one day you'll return again in fulfillment of your promises that you made to us and those who came before. And every knee shall bow to you, every tongue confess your word is true. So here's the game plan. After you get everything off the bus, everybody's in this building right here except for the Redmond family go back to the bigger cabin. Ooh. And yeah. <laughs> uh, that to your PL. <laughs> Hello everybody, we have arrived at our second hotel. We are near the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Jonathan's over there. He was watching videos on his phone, I think, and I just started recording. How was the ride for you, Jonathan? It was good. That's good. I got some sleep, a little bit. Yeah, he got a lot of sleep. I, I took a slight nap, like five minutes, yeah. before we took our little rest stop at Flagstaff. But, yeah. You ready for the hike tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. I think, like you said, we have a couple people here who have expressed they're not quite ready. Yeah. So that, that definitely helps me. It makes me feel a little bit better uh, about it. Yeah, be a little bit more confident. So. Yeah. We got this. We're going to race. We're going to see if we can finish first. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be I think, good. I think seeing the... The scenery and stuff has made me more excited for it. Because, you know, when yeah. you're thinking about it, you're like, oh, man, 25 miles. But at least it's going to look nice while you're dying. So. While you're dying, <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah. No, it's cool. Like, I mean, you probably just saw it in the montage I just did. But we've passed through so much different scenery. Yeah. Like, just different types of landscapes. And they said that there's just as many types of landscapes through the canyon. So, I'm pretty jazzed for this. Now we've got, like, two hours till dinner. And then we're probably going to bed pretty early because... We have to get up. I'm probably going to get up like 2.30 in the morning. Uh, I need to read my Bible first before we get started, probably. Either that or read it at some point on the hike, so we'll see. But, yeah! Jonathan and I are currently hiking. We're not actually hiking. We're just walking back from the gift shop. <laughs> What'd you get at the gift shop? I got a shirt for myself. Uh-huh. A shirt for my lady. Ooh. And a shirt for my other lady, my mom. <laughs> Two ladies. Nice. No, I'm just going to add and get her a shirt. I got her a coaster. And some good smelling soap. Nice. And oh, and I got another coaster for my my lady. <laughs> nice <laughs> for yeah. all the ladies. I got a shirt for myself, a shirt and a hat for my lady, Ooh. and then a jacket for my other lady, which is my mom. We both got two ladies. Just loving the ladies. Today. Loving the ladies. Bye. Hey, Jonathan. Hi. How you doing, man? Oh my gosh, I'm doing okay. No. All right. It's 8.08 p.m. Hello. We're almost done with tonight. <laughs> We're almost about to start. We're almost yeah, about to start. No reason for this whole thing. Tomorrow morning. I'm yeah. actually going to bed at 8 p.m. I've never done this in my life other than when I was a little kid. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, it's like, dude, it's like 10, but it's because my laptop's not. No, it's 10 o'clock back in Texas. Yeah. It's 8 o'clock here. I'm going to bed because I have to wake up at 2.30 in the morning. So what time are you waking up? Turn on? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna wake up, read my Bible, pack stuff up. We gotta get out of here at four. We start hiking at five in the morning. You ready for this? I think so. We're gonna do it. We're gonna kill it. Either that, or we'll go to heaven and we'll be with Jesus, and that'll be pretty. Either nice. we are going to kill it, or it is going to kill us. We'll have to find out. See you tomorrow. When? 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 It's a thing. Win, win, win. Let's go hunt some snipes.
I was sleeping. What are you doing?